It's October 2014. And eight-year-old Lota Ward, who's logged over 2,000 miles in the last year, has set his sights on the greatest feat of his young life. His next race will be his longest and his biggest challenge. Finish your breakfast and then we gotta get you guys ready because you guys still need to get ready. Get me a pencil in there, please. At nine years old, Lota is one of the youngest ultra runners in the world. Born and raised in Layton, Utah, 30 miles north of Salt Lake City, Lota is the fourth of six siblings. There is no dull moment here in, the, in this house. There's always something going on. Eat like a lady. Lota started running with his dad when he was just seven years old, logging miles as Keith, who is an ultra runner, trained for a 100 mile race. In the beginning, it was kind of just hang out and talk as dad and son. He talked to me about, you know, how's work going and what we're doing and what we have plans for. <laughs> you excited for school this year? Yeah. <laughs> we just talk about all sorts of stuff. It kind of gets my head empty, just like talking. In April 2014, Loda's mother prepared to run her first half marathon. Loda got an idea. My mom, she was gonna run a um, uh, half marathon, and I was like, I wanna run it. And he begged and begged, he cried, and finally his dad said, you know what, Lota, let me go help mommy run this race, and then I'll sign you up for your own race, and I'll help you. And he signed up for the Xterra Olympic Park up in Park City, and I was so nervous. And so six weeks later, at age seven, Loda attempted his first half marathon. I kept preparing myself. He is gonna be crying. He's gonna be hating his dad for letting him run this race. Lota crossed the finish line with smiles and he took his medal and he said, Mom, I am gonna cover all my walls with these. A month later, Lota ran another half marathon and then a 10K. And in September 2014, still just seven years old, Loda was invited to run in the Xterra National Championship 21K in Snow Basin, Utah. He even decided to run for a cause, raising money to buy a wheelchair for a young boy with a disability. Running helps me do like all sorts of stuff, like helps me help other people, which I love, which, which really brings me together. After Lota crossed the finish line, he presented a check to his friends for over $2,000. He also became the youngest runner to complete the 21K course and the national champion for the half marathon in the Xterra trail running series. I was like, wow, I'm really good. I should start doing like bigger runs. As an eight-year-old, Lota convinced his parents to let him sign up for a 50-mile race with his dad he had six months to prepare for the biggest race of his life. That's when everything changed. Right after the Xterra Nationals, we started noticing some significant changes in him. He, he wasn't sleeping as well. He was throwing up every morning. We started losing vision. He started having double vision. We went to the eye doctor, and then he said, you guys need to go to the ER right now. I've ordered an MRI, because there's something in Lotus's head that's pushing the back of his eyes. And I remember just spitting it out there and I just said, are you saying my son has a brain tumor? And he didn't hesitate. He just said, yes. I think we were all very shocked how that just happened that fast. But Lota was ready to fight. Oh my God. That's right. <laughs> you got this surgery, son. I'm proud of you. Over the next four months, Loda underwent three brain surgeries. And still, Loda's mind was on one thing. We asked the neurosurgeon if it was okay for him to go run. He's like, if he feels up to it, just let him run. Throughout all of his three surgeries, Loda refused to stop training for his upcoming 50 mile race. Let's go, Amy. Let's go, Dad. Let's go. 
he uses running as therapy for him. You guys are doing a great job. You got this. This is his way of dealing with his brain tumor. Woo! Thank you. <laughs> In February, just one month before the race, Loda learned his brain tumor had grown back aggressively. He would need yet another surgery. His parents questioned whether he should run. Lota kept telling me, Mom, I'm doing the 50 miles. And I said, why? Why, are you, why do you want to do 50 miles? And he said, why not? Why not? It'll be fun, why not? And there was no talking Lota out of it. And so three days before his fourth brain surgery in six months, Lota ran. It was just so cool to see that an eight-year-old can fight through something like that when I know the pain that he was going through. And I was like, wow, this is hard, but I'm going to fight. I don't know. All I could do is just smile and look the other way. I, I knew if I looked at him, I would have cried. Lota made it all the way to mile 33 and had to stop only because his feet hurt. It's something he'll remember that he knows he can go a long way before he gives up. Hey, buddy. Bye, Dad. Love you. Bye, Mom. I love you too, sweetheart. You be good, okay? Okay. Take great care. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. You got this. We got this. We got this. I, I know he had a hard time coming back. Mommy and Daddy are right here, buddy. You can wake up. It's okay. I remember there was a moment when I I look at the doctor and I said, what is wrong with him, you know? And the doctor said, you know what? I don't know why he's not bouncing back the way he did before. I missed you. Huh? I missed you. I missed you too, buddy. Miss you too, okay. We missed you too. When he said, I miss you guys, I knew that, that he was there. Oops. It, it was just a, a struggle to see him because I know it hurt this time. I know he wasn't the same. I know he wasn't thinking the same. Perfect. 100%. Okay, you ready? Okay, one, two, three. I see. All right. Yay. Five months later, Loda continued to struggle. So we've been noticing Lota struggling a lot emotionally. And he was really hard on Keith. Please leave me alone. Come on, stay with me. And he did not want to get out there on the trail as often as he used to, and he will get really, really upset really, really fast. So we called the doctor and we wanted to move his MRI up. The MRI revealed that the tumor had grown again. Lota would need a fifth brain surgery. So this recent news for Lota has been hard. I think he's knowing too much. He knows what happened every time he wakes up from each surgery. How does it feel? Shocking. Yeah. Scary, huh? You know that um, we're going to have to prepare for another surgery, right? I know. You don't want to go through another surgery. I understand that. We noticed he was getting real anxious and wandering rooms, and we finally got him to come over, and he sat down, and he said, I'm scared. I'm scared I might die from this tumor. I'm not the same person anymore, so obviously he notices everything we notice. He's having deep thoughts that no eight-year-old should have to think about. I felt like what just happened to me? I just felt like a regular kid, but now I am emotional. What's up? 
Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, awesome. On November 19th, 2015, Lota returned for his fifth brain surgery. They chose a less invasive procedure done with a laser. Lota is the first child in Utah they've tried this treatment on. The results have been encouraging. He seems to be a lot happier, so we're thinking and we're really hoping that that means the tumor is shrinking and the laser uh, treatment did what it's supposed to do. He said, Mom, I really want to get back to running. And I was like, you know what, that's awesome, then let's help you get back to it. As Lota recovers from brain surgery yet again, he returns to a song called Glorious. Every time I get scared, I'll try to sing it or my mom will sing it to me, and it'll kind of make me feel better. There are times when you might feel aimless, can't see the places where you belong. But you will find that there is a purpose. It's been there within you all along. And in January, two months after his surgery, Lota returned to the sport he loves, running a 20K race, his first in eight months. This is like a race for him to reconnect again with the trails, with his passion for trail running. Lota's here to teach me something. He's here to teach us something. Good job, guys! You can finish it! Good job! I think Lota's purpose in life is to encourage others that they can do anything they want to do. It's so amazing what we're all creating. I got this! I'm kind of just happy I have this blessed family and my blessed life that I can help people learn and grow. Everyone plays a piece and there are melodies. Doing better. Each one of Good. I have thought a lot about the possibility and what the future holds for Lota. We live now, and we enjoy now, and we take it one day at a time, one day at a time. Oh.